But we've got an, another warm day on tap, which is great news considering uh, how the temperature had steadily been climbing after uh, the big cold storm that we had at the beginning of last week when we dropped into the upper 50s. But uh, we climbed all the way up near 80 yesterday afternoon, and we'll do the same thing again today. And hopefully it's uh, mild for a lot of you heading out the door in the valleys. It's 52 in Salt Lake City, although chilly 31 right now in Park City, 42 currently in Vernal, 51 in Cedar City, and in St. George is starting out at 61. A uh, few straight clouds, a little bit of moisture over the southern mountains where a few isolated showers might pop up later today. But otherwise, uh, we've got fair skies across the state. High pressure is still keeping in mild, but there's a big trough of low pressure in the Gulf of Alaska. That's the main weather maker that will bring some big changes a little bit later this week. But even out ahead of that, a weak cold front will move in tonight. The temperature tomorrow will be slightly lower behind that front, but the stronger storm uh, moves in on Wednesday and Thursday. And besides a bigger drop in temperature, we'll get widespread precipitation over northern and central Utah with some valley rain and possibly some uh, snow totaling several inches above 9,000 feet, but uh, we might even get some minor accumulations as low as 7,000 feet with this coming storm. So big changes coming up in a couple days. Take advantage of the warm weather while you can. We'll make it up to 80 in Salt Lake, still running well above normal for this time of year. Mid 70s in Logan this afternoon. You'd be in the mid 80s in Moab, 79 in Cedar City, and in St. George, you'll make it up to 88. And it's going to look good this week in St. George, but uh, the leftovers of those cold fronts will move through, knock the temperature all the way down into the low 70s by Thursday. But then you'll start to warm up again heading into the weekend, and you'll make it all the way back near 80 by Sunday. And in northern Utah, Salt Lake City, it's going to be sunny, mid-70s tomorrow, so just slightly cooler, but the temperature will drop another 20 degrees lower behind the stronger cold front on Wednesday. We'll get the rain in the valleys along with isolated thunderstorms. By Thursday, it will be drying out. Heading into the weekend, it warms up, but this time around only peaking near 70 by Sunday afternoon.